Welcome again to The Ref Show as we review the first weekend of Premier League action for season 2016-17. There's quite a lot of drama. One game in particular that we're going to focus on to start with because it produced an absolute belter of seven goals. And overall, Glenn Turner, who's joined by Brian Dean this week, perhaps not a bad start for referees in the Premier League. OK, we've got two or three flashpoints to highlight, but overall, what do you think? Yeah, overall, not a, not, not a bad opening weekend. Um, could be fairly satisfied. As you say, there are probably two or three uh, incidents that we'll, we'll focus in on later, but let's try and keep it positive early. Great to see Michael Oliver performing so well yesterday, as, as you mentioned. On, on the uh, the big game of the weekend, the 3-4 the down at Arsenal. Um, for a long time, we've been talking about Michael and his his P word, his potential. Uh, let's hope that this is the season that he finally produces. OK, he said he needs to. There were six uh, yellow cards in that. And according to <laughs> Ref Cam and Guy Beale, they, they were warranted. He asserted his authority. He also produced words in that Ref Cam summary like, great reading of the game, Brian. Referees needing to read the game just as much as players. Yeah, absolutely. And I think maybe part of that's a, a fitness issue, you know, because he's... He seems to be one of those guys who's always up and around with play now. So I liked him. He, he, I was just saying off camera, he needs a bit of a man's haircut now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like a, like yours, there, well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, I mean, just on that with the with the penalty, you know, I, I as it happened, I actually I actually thought it was um, it wasn't a penalty. And then looking at it again, obviously it's a clear cut penalty so it, you know he's bang on bang on the money there as well yeah his fitness and positioning a joy to watch said uh, guy Beale, who also managed the game but didn't strangle it and uh, and referees can contribute to what is a, an entertaining game can't they if they get it right yeah, like yeah that. certainly so yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a kind of an, an old adage we can't make a uh, a bad game good but we can make a good game bad <laughs> and, and, and for, yeah. very fortunately you didn't do that <laughs> so Arsenal 3 Liverpool 4 and already a bit of pressure on Arsene Wenger but we'll come to that in, in, in another time as a summary uh, nine games uh, so far ahead of the Monday night game 33 yellow cards perhaps a notch above where they'd like it to be one red now this was in Southampton 1 Watford 1 this was Roger East in charge and it was Ben, Watford, ben Watson of Watford who's just on a substitute uh, for denial of a goal-scoring opportunity. Any queries from you guys? No, no, whatsoever. No, no okay. I mean, it's, it's been done for pace, hasn't he? And he's, you know, he could see straight away Ben Watson. <laughs> he's just yeah. head down like that. OK, I know what's coming, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Easy decision, really. Yeah, yeah. good decision. OK, yeah, well it was long that was breaking away there. A clean sheet, the one referee with a clean sheet, no yellow cards or reds, is very in form. Martin Atkinson picking up from where he left off in yeah. the Euros. Everton won, Spurs won. Yeah. Is he looking fit as well, Martin, as well? He's, I mean, I do know that he's done a, a charity a charity bike ride um, over the course of a week recently, and that's obviously paid a lot of dividends for him. He's looking fit, looking well. If you compare the way he's started this season with a year ago, mm when he really struggled, didn't he? Just in the first few weeks of the season, yeah. we were mentioning him here quite a lot. Yeah. What a transformation. You see, a lot of football's played up here, though, and this is not a Euro year. You know, Martin had got a lot of pressure on him to perform because he was being pushed, some said promoted, by his employers to, to make sure he got the spot. Um, so he was under a lot of pressure to perform from the minute goal last season. Um, it isn't a Euro year, it isn't a World Cup year, so maybe he's feeling a little more relaxed himself. Maybe he is, maybe he is, and, and that's good to see. Burnley nil, Swansea won. Perhaps the one kind of glaring omission from, from a referee was in this. John Moss was in charge. This was at Turf Moor, newly promoted Burnley. And, well, we saw clearly on the TV replays that Michael Keane of Burnley had his shirt almost like ripped off. Should have been a penalty, Brian. Absolutely nailed on penalty. Uh, it's, after all what we've talked about over the last few seasons, it's just a shame that something like that wasn't caught because mm. it sends a message out straight away. Uh, unfortunately, you know, he gets away with it. Swansea win 1-0, mm. you know, so the, good mm. guy, the bad guys win, Thank don't you. they? Uh, I'm sorry to bang on about this referee, you know. I know... I know he watches the show because <laughs> so, uh, yeah. the things that come back. I, I also but, hear uh, he's a really nice bloke. Yeah, he's a lovely fella. Yeah. But I mean, I'm sorry, but how long have we been saying now that this lad is not Premier League class? And I'm sorry, but he's not. And, and how many chances is he going to be given? Well, I'm fit. 
we're at the point, I feel, where they just have to cut the losses and realise that this lad cannot cut it at that level. Perhaps, uh, in, in deference to him slightly, it's, it's, it's more than a one-man game refereeing, mm -hmm. isn't it? Oh. And you've got assistant referees. How, to what extent is, are Mick, they culpable? Mick McDonough, very, very culpable in not only that incident, but just prior to that, there was a, a, a caution picked up by John Moss. He did well, right in front of Mick McDonough. Um, the players are there, it's all over him. Um, from, from me to you away, in terms of Mick McDonough's distance, not even a supportive flag. I'm sorry, but we're not just there for, for throw-ins, corners and goal kicks, Mick. You've got to join in or get out. Um, but another assistant who's been treading water for a long, long time now, in my opinion. And as Brian says, you know, symbolically, this is the, this is the offence that we want completely eradicating from the game, isn't it? The, me as a forward, mm. when that happens, you know, yeah. you, you're talking about a clear goal scoring opportunity, and yeah. it's hard enough trying to lose your marker in the box, yeah. but yeah. to find out that they're getting assist well, not find out, but when they're getting assistance yeah. like that and it's not being picked up, you know, you might as well just stand there at a corner. Yeah, yeah. It's, didn't not, it's not just the fact that there was a penalty, Brian's right, denial, you know, yeah. there was a red to follow. Yeah. Um, so it's not just single jeopardy that the bad guys won, double jeopardy that no, no penalty was given, triple yeah. jeopardy he wasn't sent off either. Yeah. Come on, how many mistakes? And under this new interpretation of uh, DOGZO, as we call it, denial of yeah. a goal scoring opportunity, there is a specific insert there that if it is a, a holding offence, yeah. it, that it's a red card and it, straight was a away. Red card offence. Yeah, yeah. So what a crucial moment that was it, he, in, in sorry, that game. I'm sorry to bang on, but he's, he's not good enough. Okay, right. Um, let's, let's hope that in that referee's case that when we next talk about him here that we can say something a bit more positive. But there's Glenn Turner's very experienced view on it. Um, Brian Dean, Mike Dean, uh, your namesake but without the E on the end in the case of the referee. Um, Hull 2, Leicester 1. Uh, there was a penalty in this game. Before I come to you, Brian, Glenn Turner, there was a penalty yeah, awarded in this game. Goal. I feel for Dino because he's, he's class, he's quality, he's, he's not only both of those things, he's consistent as well. Very, yeah. very good referee and has been for a long, long time. That was a tough call. Yes, it's outside the box, the contact is. Tough call, willing to give him the benefit on that one. Okay, yeah, because it started outside quite clearly yeah. with a kind of holding back. It landed inside the box. But it, it continued yeah. inside. Yeah. And I, I, I always raise the point there, Brian, that, OK, isn't there some kind of advantage you can apply there? Because you've got a foul starting outside. You can argue you're letting it go until it gets inside, and then suddenly you're saying, OK, I'm going to penalise it. A penalty. No, 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 no I don't <laughs> think so, yeah. Look, I mean, it, you know, you can't say the momentum takes you in there, and it is so quick, yeah. you know, how it happens. So, you know, unfortunately, you know, if, if he rolls on and he's all over the, all over the gaff, then... You know, you, you're inclined to think that it was a penalty, but uh, quite clearly it was outside the box. And yeah. like you say, Mike Dean's a good referee. Yeah. Um, you know, you're going to get them wrong sometimes. Sometimes you are, yeah. I mean, the, the only uh, down, you know, counter to the point that you made was there was no advantage signal given Alan, so we can't get him out of jail no, on that right. one, I'm afraid. So, uh, sorry, sorry, Mike. But I tried very he's, hard uh, for him. He's very, missed very that hard. one. Not, not, not. Let's not castigate him. He's an excellent referee, Dino. We need him. OK, well, we'll review the rest of the Premier League action in part two of the Ref Show. And also a slightly controversial blog from our Keith Hackett suggesting that referees' pay is lagging far behind and that they're well overdue a substantial pay rise. Now, we'll get the guys here to reflect on that. Brian Dean and Glenn Turner, their views in part two of the Ref Show. Meantime, as ever, we have... A brain teaser for you, courtesy of the fabulous illustrator, Paul Trevelyan. See what you make of this. An indirect free kick is aimed at the home side star striker. He misses the header, but the tip of his ponytail rushes the ball as it flies into the net. Goal or no goal? 